Hey everybody, welcome back for another quick tip for the ACT number 52. Which of the following is the solution statement for the inequality shown below? Okay, when I see an inequality question like this, I get excited because I know it's a simple question. I know it's pretty straightforward. There's only a couple things they're going to make me do. And one of them they're going to make me do is deal with this dividing by a negative situation, which all it means is when you divide by a negative, you switch the sign. Divide by neg, switch sign. There you go. Divide by negative, switch the sign. That's all we have to really remember here. Okay, so let's just do this like it's any normal algebra question. If we want to get x by itself, we're subtracting 1. But the thing is we have to subtract 1 from each piece, not just from the other side. There's three components here to subtract negative or to subtract 1 from. So we're going to get negative 6. That sign stays the same, negative 3x. Sign stays the same, we get 9. Now we divide by negative 3, and this is where the sign switch. So you might just switch them right away, just so you get it right away. Negative 6 divided by negative 3 is going to be 2. So maybe actually what I should do is write this, divide by negative 3 like this. And then we'll write it one more time down here. So this is... 2, we get x by itself, thankfully, and we get our negative 3. And of course, this makes sense because now we have to be careful to switch the signs around. So negative 3 is less than x, which is less than 2. Maybe you just tell yourself x is between negative 3 and 2, and that's a common sense way to make sure you don't fall prey to making some mistake with these signs because once again, they're switched. Um, Remember, the reason we're dividing when we divide by a negative that we switch the sign is because if we didn't, what we'd be saying is 2 is less than x, which is less than negative 3. And if that was true, I think the world would turn inside out. So um, that's why we switch the signs, because obviously this is false. And if this was the answer, we would have something called an empty set. Okay, hope that explained this inequality question. Just make sure you're careful. If you're careful, you will be excited when you see these questions. Careful. Sorry about my handwriting. Careful. You'll be careful and then excited, which is represented by our exclamation points. Exclamation points. All right, have a great day, everybody. Take care.